Welcome back to tutorial number five for this 7x9 album. In this video, we're going to be working on two pocket pages, just base pages with pockets, and then our another second pop-up photo mats page. The side over here is pretty simple. It's just a base flat flap with a pocket. So I'm going to use this red floral back here, and I'm going to cut one of these at a six and a half wide by eight and seven eighths tall. So you need one full sheet, and the rest are scraps. Uh, for the pocket, I'm using the gingham scrap that I had. It is um, six and three eighths wide by one and a quarter tall. And then we have a booklet that goes inside there. I'm going to use the lemons on the front. I'm going to cut this at three and seven eighths wide by five and seven eighths tall. Then I'm going to wait on the rest of it to see what scraps I end up having at the end. So that's that one. And then this photo mat just on one side, I may use the yellow instead of the um, check. But this is, uh, I'm going to cut it at four and three eighths by four and three quarters. So. Let me go ahead and cut those, and then I'll come back and we'll glue them in. I have my pieces cut correction on this one. I said one and a quarter tall. It's one and three quarters tall by six and three eighths wide. So I have this piece cut correctly. I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto my pocket. And this was cut from a scrap. One and three quarters tall by six and three eighths wide. And so that glues down below the whatever um, border you punched, if you punched a border. Now measure yours because you have a different punch. Yours may have a wider section in here. So you certainly wanna make sure you're not cutting it exactly like mine. The width should be the same, but your height may be different. You may not have any uh, punched out borders so you may have just a regular solid pocket with a notch or something in it so that's fine whatever you have for your pocket so there's the pocket there so let's open this up to right here it's across from this section here where we put in our pop-up photo mats and um, we don't have to do anything fancy on this one we're just going to put this piece here so again this was cut out of the um, two by four four by four element page you have two of those. This I'm going to use the red and white flowers. It's six and a half wide by eight and seven eighths tall. So I'm going to glue that in. This is a really easy album to put together once you get all your pieces cut, I think. Get all these put in. Okay, just like that. Let's burnish this in. Okay, so the little pocket. Again, you can put it wherever you want. You can put it at the bottom. You can put it here. I kind of like it there. Kind of a, just kind of a different look. So I'm going to put glue along. This is a flat one on the bottom. A line of glue here on the bottom to seal it up. And then on my flaps, I can fold it in. And you don't have to put much on the on the uh, trim because it's it's not really wide there. So this fits in. Just gonna make sure it's kind of even across the bottom here. I have about an inch, it looks like. And I'm gonna burnish it right here and across the bottom. On the side, make sure everything is sticking in there good. There's that pocket. So then we have the booklet. So I did go ahead and cut from this scrap. I said, well, I have enough. So I cut one piece that is three and seven eighths wide by five and seven eighths tall of the red and white flowers. And then the lemons is the same size, three and seven eighths wide by five and seven eighths tall. And this is just going to glue on the front and the back. And then I'm going to leave the others as craft for now until I decide. And just going to glue this on. If you want to round the corners, you can. 
I'm just going to leave mine squared up. The lemons on the front. Flip it over, put the red flowers, white flowers on red on the back, and all these will be jazzed up with uh, stickers or different elements from the collection, some tags, so I'm just going to glue this on right here, finish it down. Okay, so that's going to just slide in this pocket like this. So you see the lemons that match that opposite side. And then I have the photo mat. And I cut this at, this is, I'm going to use the back side. It is cut at um, four and three eighths by four and three quarters to fit. And we're going to round the corners. I use the seven millimeter. I know I didn't do my other photo mat yet, but it may be different patterned paper. So this one's going to glue on. So the corners here is not cut quite right. Better. Put a little little notch there. I don't like. We'll burnish that. Let me get my lettering. And so this just tucks in here if I want, like that. So there's that side. Okay. So where we at now? We're going to flip it over. We have this side here with another a pocket. It's done the same way. It's real simple. And this side's going to have also the pop up like we just did a while ago. So um, yeah, we're going to get this one done and then we'll do this one next. It's going to get pretty thick in here. Okay, so we'll get these ready to go next. For the second pocket page, which is exactly like the one we just did on the opposite, opposite side. So when you turn the page, we're going to put another one exactly the same. So for this one, I'm going to use Celebrate the Good Times, the ledger paper. And I'm going to cut it a certain way so that I can kind of continue it with the second page. So um, get your trimmer, and I'm going to cut it. First, I'm going to cut the branding strip off. So put it in at 12 and cut the strip off. And then I'm going to turn and cut the width first. So I want the top side. I'm going to use the top side so that it's on the left up here, right here, this one right here. So I'm going to cut that at six and a half wide. So I'm turning it, put it down at the bottom, and line it up at six and a half and cut at six and a half for this page. Then the height of it, or the, it will be eight and seven eighths tall. And so I'm cutting that bottom piece off that has the, uh, the words. So I'll just save that scrap. So that's for the base page. And then um, I'm gonna use the scrap of the ledger paper for the pocket. Use the part that has the words, and I'm going to cut this six and three eighths wide by one and three quarters tall. So that's all we really need to cut for this page, except for our photo mat insert. So we'll do that in just a second. So let me cut these, make sure it's cut right, one and three quarter inches tall, and then I'm going to 
Go ahead and glue those on. So again, this is the page that goes onto the back side of the one we just did. So first I'm gonna glue my printed paper here on the bottom onto my pocket. I'm putting the words up towards the top. And I cut mine too short. So I'm going to piece that with a piece of the ledger. I'm going to just cut off a little slice of the ledger paper scrap that I have left. I'm going to make that six and three eighths wide. So um, I'm going to double check with the ruler here make sure that I gave you the total measurement is correct. Yeah, if you cut yours at six, you should cut yours at uh, one and seven eighths. So I'm gonna change that on the guide. One and seven eighths is the total cut. One and seven eighths inch. So that's why I had to piece mine. But if you like the piece look, then go ahead and do that. So just use your scraps to make it work. Okay. So now we have the full pattern piece. So we're going to flip this page over. We're going to glue this down. And then we'll glue the pocket on. And on this pocket, I am going to glue it down all the way to the bottom of the page because it's the same pattern paper that the background is. And so I just think it looks better that way. Go ahead and use scraps for your photo mats. I have, I cut one of the lemon papers two and seven eighths wide by four and three eighths tall for the photo mat insert. And then um, I used a scrap of red and white with dots for a photo mat that's three and three eighths wide by five and a quarter inches tall. You may not have the cardstock. You can cut that from your scraps to work with that scrap. And then a scrap of red with white flowers and any other collage type scrap. I cut uh, the red at four inches wide by five and three eighths tall and five eighths of an inch wide by five and three eighths inches tall for my um, other scrap piece. So there's two here that are photo mats that are I probably did not include that you can cut from your scraps. Out of the scraps of your cardstock, I meant to say, uh, I did cut some extras here that I didn't include in the cutting guide. Yours may be different because your scraps are different sizes. So just cut your pattern paper scraps to fit whatever cardstock scraps you have and always round all the corners to make it look more finished. So we're going to work on our second pop-up photo mat page. And I decided on this one, I want this kind of continuing. So I took a second piece of this paper, which is the Celebrate Good Times. And I cut it from this side. So this is the left side of the 12 by 12, and this is the right side. So it kind of mirrors each other. So this is cut at eight, and three, uh, sorry, six and, mm, six and three eighths wide. I don't know, let me check. Ruler time. I'll grab another ruler. Stop for lunch, and then I can't remember. Yes, yeah, six and three eighths wide by eight and seven eighths tall, and that's going to glue right on there. So let me get my glue going. Took a lunch break, and now we're back. So put all this glue on here. Okay. Took a lunch break and couldn't remember measurements, or didn't trust my notes. <laughs> Okay, so 
So this goes right here. Just like that. Get it on as straight as I can. And we burnish the edges. That's where the glue comes out the most for me. And then I smooth it out in the center. So there's that. So remember again, we're going to do this the same way. We're going to cut it on our patterned paper. So what I've chosen is these two. This one is your um, faded denim, which is the check side. And this is the light blue, which is called summer summer day summer day and it's the light blue so i'm going to use this print and this because see those colors that's in there so this one i think i'm going to do the top and this is going to be the bottom so we have to cut our slits again so let's grab the mat move my book out of the way this is coming along pretty nicely making pretty good time on it so I'm happy with that. So let's take the first one. This is the top one. Again, remember it was about two inches from the top. So I'm going to place this here in the corner of my mat so that I can see where two inches is. And this is how it goes. This time I'll make it a little easier to understand. There's my flap there. There's my flap there going under. So this is the mountain, valley, valley. So it'd be like that on your page. Okay. So let's get our pencil ruler and let's lay this out at about two inches remember we dropped the paper down a little bit so it's not exactly at two inches just a hair up off of it and I kind of center it to make it even on each side so we've got a dot there and a line and a dot right there or a you know, X or whatever you want to, you want to put there. Okay, ruler to keep it straight. Just looking, it looks like it's a little crooked there off. I'm going to move this one up here. Okay, right there. Okay, put my blade in here and... Okay, I'm going to find my big eraser. This is a little better than that pencil. So let's take the markings off. Okay. Remember the short piece goes at the top. And we want this valley, this sticking the mountain sticking up. So this goes in here like that. Not quite wide enough. We'll cut just a little more. I'm going to just make sure I don't want to cut too much. So there we go. It goes in. It goes in. Okay. So. Get it lined up. Flip it over. We're going to bring it over. So on this flap side, I'm going to put my glue. And fold it down and burnish. A bunch of glue came out. Okay. So there's the top one. The mountain so now the other piece and um let's see here at the bottom okay just making sure my directions of my lettering is correct so this one's going to be two inches from the bottom line up my grid Oops, it's not lined up right. On the black lines. Okay, right there. 
That's about two right here. The glare is making it a little hard to see. I'm going to line it up. Okay. Put a dot here. Put a dot. Make sure. This is over a little bit. Okay. Two. Line up my papers. Two inches about right. There. All right. Here's my dot. And the line. Okay. So now we're ready to cut that one. There to there. Whoops. Glad I didn't press down very hard. I was about to cut it wrong. There we go, right there. Okay, hopefully that will cover up. Let's erase this. have to glue that down because I did cut it some but I'm not going to waste paper I'm going to fix it I'm going to use some glue it's not going to show I don't think and I'll cover it with a sticker or something if I have to so this one remember goes this away just the bottom so we'll stick this in Just a smidge more. Put that in. Okay. Put it in. Fold it down so that we can line this up. Okay, double check and I'm going to put my glue on. Burnish that down. Okay, we'll let that dry just a second. Let me put this up and I'll get the book. Open this up. So let's just take the backing off here and the blue goes to the bottom down here. Okay. So close it up. I'll go ahead and get my glue on my hinge part here and all of this. down. I'm going to line this up the best I can here. I'm going to straighten it up. All the way up. Oh, nope. I've got it upside down. Lift quickly. So what did I do? Oh, it goes this way. All right. Reposition. Just noticed real quick that I had it, I didn't have my skinny part down here at the bottom where it belongs. Okay, now then, make sure we do that right, okay? And then get this on straight as you can. More of a margin here. There we go. Okay. So see here where that little piece is kind of sticking up where I sliced it when I shouldn't have. If you can see it. I'm going to put glue on that. 
and mend it. You can't really see it much, but like I said, I will cover that up with uh, a cut apart or a sticker because I'm not going to waste this paper. I'm just going to fill it in with some glue here so it doesn't tear, but that's going to work okay because I have a sticker sheet, so I will fix that. So we've got this down right now. Okay. Now then, we'll put this one on up here. So we've got the narrow one at the top. So I'm going to turn this so I can see it better. Let's take this backing off. And the glue. This is probably the most complicated part, I think, of this album. And it's not really that bad as long as you remember which direction you're going. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to turn this so I can make sure I can see what I'm doing. Right there, line it up. Press it down. It kind of feels like sometimes it's just not going to fit. Like you're going to have to stretch it or something, but it will go. Let it glue down. Just around those magnets, get that burnished around that part. There we go. So I'm going to get in here and burnish from there and then right in here. Okay. So there is how it stands. And now we're ready for the patterned paper for these. And so I cut all these. We have four that are cut at five and three eighths wide by three and three eighths tall. Like that. Let me see how I want these to go. About like that. Make sure I'm going the right direction. Turn this one over. Okay, I like that. Put the blue floral down. And see, you could even do that if you wanted to. That would be, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> you could do that if you wanted to, if you like that little bit but then i wanted this this blue to go with the blue that's in the other paper but whichever you want is fine if it looks good then go for it because it's your book and it'll make it uniquely yours in the papers that you choose you don't have to do exactly exactly what i'm doing okay so we put these in push that down Red one. Turn this on its side so I can see, line it up a little better. Making sure I'm not upside down. Okay. And then the last one, which is the bandana print. Let's say I wanted to use that, so I'm putting that there. Okay. Right. OK, 
Okay, let's see how she looks. There he is, the magnet holes. Pops up. And like right here where I have that boo-boo. Let's see what the stickers have. Or do we want to do a tag? Let's see what the stickers sheet has. First, I've got some pretty butterflies. I've got this little, this little thing here. It's going to cover that up. <laughs> so I'll put a little bit of glue on the back because it might pop up. We don't want that. And that's going to go right there to hide that cut boo-boo that I did. I didn't want that. I don't want to forget to cover that up. So there'll be more decorating going on. But that's what we got there. So look, love how that looks. And we're going to open up. Back here, we have this inside to go and this back section. And then we'll be ready to just finish adding on our papers to the cover and for me to finish up. And these I just tucked in here. This is not necessarily where these go. Um, let's see here. Oh, no, this is just a flap. Okay. Oh, I was going to make a closure, I think, with these guys. Did I say that in the first? Okay. Up here and up here. So, yeah, let me think about that. Pick out the papers where we're at right now, and we'll get to working on this one. 